Hey guys, it's Igor and Tilmar again, and welcome back to my channel. So first of all, thank you again for joining the channel. I really appreciate your time. I also wanted to ask you, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, to please do so by just clicking on the button below and hitting subscribe because it's really going to help me in bringing you a lot more content. So I'm pretty excited because I'm going to be bringing you another video on AR Foundation. We're going to be extending the video that I did on image tracking and actually capture the name of the image that we're tracking in Unity by using the canvas. I'm also gonna use uh, basically a video clip that is gonna show you how we can play a video clip right on the image that is getting detected. So let's jump into Unity and I start working on it. All right guys, so let me show you what we're gonna be doing, which is to do another example of the image tracking with AR Foundation. So as some of you know, I already had an example in my repository in GitHub, which is called image tracking but I did it a long time ago, so I wanted to do a refresh and also try to import a new image and see if we can get the image name and you know some other attributes. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to be experimenting and see what comes out of this, to be honest, because I, I haven't used it in a while. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna clone this, and I also want to see something in the canvas. So if we're tracking an image, I wanna see the event that gets triggered and and show that in a ui so that we can easily see what's happening so what i'm going to do is i'm going to clone the image tracking scene and then we're going to be doing let's just call it extend it and then double click on it and i'm not going to save the other one and then i'm also going to go to one of my latest video scenes because i want to copy what i did for the canvas which is normally the canvas panel the options and what I'm looking for is basically the the welcome screen because that gives me more information. So let's go ahead and copy the panel. Let's go ahead and copy everything and then we can just decide what we're gonna be putting in. Okay, we're gonna need the whole thing because I didn't have a canvas. So I'm gonna basically move that over and then I'm gonna be changing the instructions. So let's go ahead and go into 2D here and let's go ahead and expand the panel, expand the instructions and we're just going to be, you know, telling the user what they need to do. I like to do this because it helps me with all the other videos. You know, if you're running this scene, then people know exactly what it's doing. So this one is going to be image tracking extended. And then what you need to do is move your phone around and point to the image, the reference image. So you just say move your phone towards, I guess we can say around and tor towards the reference image. And then once the image, the image is captured, is detected, I think it's a better word, the prefab will be spawned at the position of the reference image. All right, so that looks good. And then I'm not gonna have, I don't think I'm gonna have options in this one, at least just yet. So I'm just gonna remove those. And then it's just gonna be the welcome, the welcome screen. Okay, so I think we have everything there, everything there. And then the other thing that I'm gonna do, if, if you didn't watch the previous video, let me show you some of the components that you're gonna need. You're gonna need the AR session, just like we do on every other video about AR Foundation and then the AR Input Manager. And then the next thing that I'm gonna need is going to be the AR Session Origin. We're gonna have our AR Session Origin, a data game object with a reference to the AR camera. And then this is gonna be the, basically the component that is more important. It's called the AR Track Image. This has a reference to a image library and that's what I wanna show you next. And then this will tell you, you know, the maximum number of moving images to track in real time. And it looks like it's not, not all implementation support for this feature. I put a number of three because that's what Unity had in their example. So we're just gonna keep it at three. And then this is gonna be the prefab that we're gonna be instantiating at the location where we track the image. So for now, I think we can do, actually for that one, what I was gonna do is, I want to use my, the Place TV that I used in another example. Let me show you what that one is. So if I hit play, it's going to show me in a video and I am moving around and I want to show that right on the on the image that, I, that I'm that i gonna be using as a reference. 
So let's go ahead and remove it, and then we're going to be adding it by just dragging and dropping the prefab. So it's going to be the Place TV one, and I'm just going to place it right in that position. And then this is an example that I that I built before, and I don't want to change it because it's going to be used for the previous scene. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to remove, I'm going to clone it, and then create a new one. So I'm just going to copy everything there, and then in fact we can just we can just re uh, duplicate it. So I'm just going to say. Let's go ahead and just do, there we go, Control-C, Control-V for a Mac, and actually co Command-C, Command-V for a Mac, and then Control-C, Control-V for a Windows. All right, so let's go back and rename it, and this is going to be called Track Image Info Manager. We can say Track Image Info Extended Manager, there we go. And then I think everything else in here for now, it's fine and I'm going to need to rename also the class. So let's go ahead and rename it by just calling it extended. Okay, so I think that looks good. And I got everything here. And then I'm just gonna remove the script. So let's remove it and then just add the new one. And it doesn't show yet. I think it's because it's not compiling. Let me make sure. Now let's go back in here and let me add it again. Let's search for it. Okay, so it's not finding it just yet. That's okay. I think that happens to me every time I do renames. And so I got to close out of VS Code and then just open C Sharp Project and it'll basically recompile the project. And we can make sure that everything is running. So I'm just going to hit play so that the whole project compiles and runs. Okay, so everything is running. Now we can just type in. Okay, so if that doesn't work, what I'm going to do is just going to drag it and drop it here. And that's going to give us an, uh, an error. Because the script class cannot be found, make sure that... Okay, so I did that. And let me make sure that everything... Let me make sure that I copy... Yeah, it's right here. That's okay. Let's go ahead and open it in. Okay, so it is right here. And I rename it Track Image Info Extended Manager. Let's go back into Unity. And that happens a lot of times when I, if I rename something incorrectly. So we just, we can just, let's go ahead and do this. Track Image Info. Okay, so it is there. Unity is just not finding it. Okay, let's go ahead and try. Let me go, go ahead and close out of Unity. And then go back into the my Unity Hub, and then open up the project again. Make sure that everything compiles, and I'm pretty sure the class name is named correctly. Looks like it is. Okay, and let's go back in here, and then let's type in extended, and it's still not finding it. Okay, let's see what I did. So what I'm gonna do, just to avoid having to figure out what the problem is, let's go ahead and delete it. Let's go ahead and just clone it through the Unity. I'm using the latest version, which is 2019.2.2F1, and I had some issues with VS Code as well when I upgraded it. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do it through here. And there we go. And then let's just call it Extend It. Hopefully this way it'll find it. Let's go ahead and open it up. And then we can just rename it to Extend It. Okay, I think that looks good, and this is complaining, it should go away here in a minute, there we go. All right, let's see if this works now. Extend it, there we go. Yeah, for some reason it just didn't find it, so I think we're good there, and then the other thing that I'm going to need is I'm going to need basically, you know, something to connect to the UI. So what I'm going to do is if we look at some of the latest videos, and scene for the latest videos. In this case, I'm going to be looking at the script. Let me go ahead and pull a couple of things we're, which we're going to need. We're going to need a, a reference to the dismiss button. So we're going to need this one and also the welcome panel. And I think that's it. And then let's go back in here and I'm just going to copy, just going to copy those. Let me also make this one private because that is only used privately. And then this is going to be requiring that I bring in Unity Engine. All right, let me go back in here and then let me just search for that. We're gonna need the dismiss button, which is 
the actual event, which is going to be the one that's missing the welcome panel. So I'm going to need that as well. So I'm going to let's go back to here and we can probably place it right there. It's fine. Okay, so I have that, I have that, and then I need to call the onClick event. Let's go ahead and type it out here. So we can just do dismiss button, onClick, and then add the listener, which is going to point to the dismiss method. Okay, so I got everything here that I need. And then the other thing that I think I'm going to need is I want to know the name of the image that I'm tracking. And that's one thing that I found if you... If you look at the event that I have right here, which is the the callback that I get, the callback that I get when the image is tracked. So if you look at this, this event argument determines anything that gets added when whenever my phone finds a track image. So if you look at the type here, which is let's not use var, let's do let's go ahead and use the actual type so that you can see, which is gonna be the air track image, and that's what this type is is a collection of those. So what I'm going to do here is I want to I want to display the name, display the name of the track image in the canvas. The reason why I want to do this is because in previous versions of AR Foundation, I didn't have that option. And now with that option, I can do a lot of things because if I know which reference image I'm tracking, this, then I could do cool things like if the image that I'm tracking, you know, has my business card, then I can do a video of me in the introduction or let's say the image that you're tracking has you know uh, a different logo then you can do something different but if you know which image you're tracking then you can do you know something logical that determines what you can do at that point so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go back into my my canvas here and i have a panel and i can also i'm going to also add a text and let's just go, go ahead and add a regular text. And then this one is going to be image track. And then we can just display the name for now. We can just say that there's nothing. We can just say none by default. And then let me go ahead and back go back here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put it right on the top there. Let me go ahead and resize it if I can. And there we go. I just needed to zoom in a little bit. And I'm not using Pro Builder. Let me go ahead and close it. Let's go ahead and close that so I got more real estate. Okay, and I'm just gonna resize this a little bit. And then what I'll do is I'll just put that right on the, I can either actually do it on the bottom. That way it's not right on the way of the camera. So what I'm gonna do, let's go ahead and put it right here. And then we can go ahead and resize this a little bit. I'm gonna change the color to be white so that we can see it better and then there we go. We can do something like that. And we can also vertical align it. And we can just say, let's go ahead and keep it shorter so that I can see the whole thing. And then I'm just going to resize it a little bit more. Resize it more. And I'm going to change the anchors. So I'm going to have it always anchored to the bottom. And then we can also resize it. Make sure that it stretches uh, horizontally. So let's do that. All right. There we go, and okay, so I think I'm good there. And then this is gonna be our image track text. And what I'll do for that one, I'm going to be creating also a reference. This is gonna be text, and then this is going to be image track text. Let's also make it serializable so that we can bind it in the inspector. And then what I'll do here is I'll just display, I'm always going to overwrite and then just say, track image and, and at, you know at the beginning it's not gonna be as you know as clear what image is adding because I'm only, only gonna add one but as I add more then we can see the different names and you can see that this returns the name let me make sure that I'm doing the right one okay the one with okay the, the reference image is the one that you want to grab and then the name of that there we go so I'm just saying track image, the reference image, that name. Okay, and then the the next thing that I'm doing right here is I'm grabbing the scale of the of the track image and then and basically resizing that. And let me go ahead and not do that. What I'm gonna do instead is because this is going to change the size of the track image. Let's go ahead and not do this for now. Let's just go ahead and keep it. 
and then in fact let's yeah let's just comment it out and then we can see what happens when I run it and then we can debug it and go back if we need to so the next thing that I'm gonna do is I had an image in here that I downloaded that I actually created from one of one of the cards that I have here and this is my my library card basically Salt Lake City public library system and what I want to do is every time I show that I want to add a video that plays over that over that uh, if I can say that word over it or above if that's a better word but anyway so I'm gonna be placing basically placing a video so let's go ahead and add that image to the tracking so if we go back into these right here which is going to be the track image and I have a reference library let's go ahead and look at that reference library and right now it only has two things it actually has the unity so you can see the unity logo and then with the name and also the physical size so what I'm gonna do is I'm also gonna do let's go ahead and call it library car and I'm gonna drag it and drop it right into that folder and I'm gonna make sure that I have the same settings that I had as my unity logo let's give it a second here until it adds and then let's make it all lowercase so that I can keep it consistent with my other library car there we go and then what we'll do is we'll look at the unity logo properties and see what what it has so that we can match everything with our other image okay this one is called is default 2d and then it has that checkbox 2048 it's going to keep everything the same it looks like we have basically everything is the same so I think we're good and then this is just resizing let me make sure that I think this is just resizing I think it's fine and advance I think we're I think we're good I'm just using a default and then this is just the unity logo okay so I think we're good then what I'm gonna do is go ahead and click on the reference image library and I'm gonna add a new image this one is gonna be the reference the library card let's go ahead and add it as you can see that it did add it and then it has a name let's go ahead and give these you know more friendly name this is gonna be unity this is gonna be library car and then we're gonna specify the the same size let's do point one and then point one all right so I think I have everything set up correctly here and and then I also added the prefab which is the one that is gonna have the TV on and I don't know that it, it's going to be placed correctly but that's okay we'll fix it if we need to fix it and then the last thing that I need to do is bind the welcome panel so let's go ahead and bind that to the inspector the this means button and then our image track text okay so I think I have everything there correct and then I think that's fine let's go ahead and make this one 75 so it's not that big all right so I am happy with everything and then lastly to test it I'm gonna run it in my device so I'm just gonna go ahead and add it and what I'm gonna do for this I'm gonna align it with the other example let me go ahead and find it okay so it's gonna be image tracking which is the other one and then the one that I'm building right now then the next thing that I'll do is go ahead and build it and I'm going to call this one image tracking extend it and this is gonna be the build that we create and give it a second here so this is going to compile create a build and then as soon as i have it running on my device i'll show you some of the results thank you guys all right guys so i was going to show you the experience running on my device and i decided to add another image because that's going to show you a little bit of how this works based on the image that we're tracking so i went ahead and took another screenshot of the image that i'm going to be also uploading which is this one right here and this one is basically my sam's club car it's an old car that i don't even use anymore so we can just basically you know rename it to that so it's going to be sam's club uh, make sure that i know how to rename how to what's what the name is so it's going to be sam's club there we go and then what i'll do is i'll put it under my images which are going to go under image library assets and then I'll just go ahead and drag it and drop it there. And then we're just gonna rename it as well just to make sure that everything is lowercase. I should have done that before I did that, but that's okay. And then we'll import it. So let's just give it a second. 
me go ahead and close out of some of these windows. I think it's getting out of control. All right, so now that I have that, I'm going to rename it really quick here to be Sam's Club card. Not that it matters because the name of the image in the image library is what really it's going to be used to display. But that way we keep it consistent. Let's give it a second here. And then everything else should be the same properties. Then what I'll do here is I'll add a new image and just search for Sam's. And then we're just going to be using specifying a size just like we did on the from the previous one. And it's going to do just like I did 0 0.1 and 0 0.1. And if it changes, that's okay. This is smart enough to know what it needs to do. And then here we'll just say this is Sam's club car. Awesome. And then this one's going to be Unity. And then for this one, what I'll do is I'll show you that on the screen and then I'll be pointing with my phone. These two I do have physically in my hands, which we can use. The, the other thing that I also did was I went into prefabs and I created a new place prefab. It's basically a clone of this one. I just change this one. This one right here, I had different, the scale was negative, and that's because of the way that I was using it for another example. So on TV3, everything is positive. That way, everything shows correctly. And the last thing that I did, is I also added a new video, which is the video of me talking in an introduction with, uh, with the robot using body tracking. I think it'll be cool if we show that. All right, so I think, I think I'm good. The, the other thing that, I, that I'm going to do now is just go ahead and build it and then we can see that, that everything is working. So I'm going to go into build settings and image tracking and then go ahead and click on build. And then I'm just going to replace the one that I have. Let's do an append so it does a diff and then replace. And then I'll show you as soon as it's running on my device. All right, guys, so I had this running on my device. So I want to show you the video of the results gonna open it up and then you can see that the image tracking started the video is basically overlaid on my Sam's Club car and also the text change so if I go and look at my Liberty car you can see how it changes the Liberty car so with that information you can do a lot more cool things if you wanted to show a different prefab then you can do that as well based on the basically the image that we are showing so it's really powerful when it comes to that it's actually refreshing really fast the other thing that I wanted to show you is I had to add a little bit more code for the update. And let me go back into VS Code and I can show you it's not that much code. But I show you in the in the beginning of the video that we were only doing the edit. So the event arguments has either added, it also has updated, and also I believe it has removed. So what I'm doing right now is I, I'm changing the image name when we add a new, basically when we detect a new image. I also changed the transform. I had to play with some of the transforms because of the way that I'm displaying the, the image on the business card. So these were the numbers that worked the best. I'm using 0.005F on Y because I want it to be flat. And I'm also basically reverting the Y axis, which it happens to be the Z axis. So I'm using the Y axis value in the Z axis value because we're dealing with basically a 2D image. And then I'm also doing the same thing when we call the update method. So we could move these to a new method if you want and then call it from both. That's, you know, that's up to you, but this works for now. So if you guys have any questions about what I showed you, please let me know in the comments. Thank you. All right, guys, thank you much for watching this video. I really appreciate your time. And if you have any questions, please let me know in the comments. Also, be sure to check out gamedev.net because they have amazing resources for game developers. And also find me in patreon.com where I'm basically posting information about what I'm doing behind the scenes and also early access source code. Thank you very much, guys.